Hey guys, Young the Code here, showing you guys how to get started coding your very own bucket plugins. Okay, so the first step is go to the description and find the link that says Java JDK. That should take you to a website that looks like this. Okay, now once you're here, you need to click Accept License Agreement. This is accepts their terms of use. This is the Java Development Kit that actually allows you, your computer, to compile the code. So you need to find the operating system that features. Mine is Windows 64. Go ahead and hit that button. Go ahead and save the file. Wait for it to be done and then run it. I've already done this, so you guys go ahead and do that and catch up with me in the next segment. Okay, now once you've finished installing the Java JDK, navigate to the second link in the description. It should be called Eclipse. Now this is the actual coding software that allows you to put text into the code that actually operates. The one you're looking for is this Java IDE for Java EE developers. Find the Windows system that fits with yours. Mine is 64. Go ahead and hit that. Let's go ahead and hit the link again and then save this file. Now once you're done with that, you need to extract the folder within it and then run Eclipse.exe. Once that's done, you guys have your software set up. Now if you're running a Mac, you have to find a different software coding program than Eclipse. It's not that hard to find. You guys can Google around and find it. I don't know of any because I only run Windows computers. Okay, now once you've run Eclipse, you will be greeted with this window. This is simply asking where you want to save all of your projects to. I have a folder already set up for mine. If you don't, go ahead and hit browse and select the folder or create a new one. Okay, now once you have that done, go ahead and click the OK button. I'm actually already running the software, so let me just open up the window. Okay, you should be greeted with a window that looks similar to this or a get started window. Go ahead and click just exit out of that, and you should be greeted with a window that looks almost exactly the same as this, minus these three over here, which is a couple of pro projects I've been working on. Okay, so now the first step is to go to File, New, Java Project. For the sake of this video, I'm going to name it YouTube. You guys can name it whatever you guys would like. Okay, now once you have a named YouTube, go ahead and open this. Go ahead and open SRC. And I've already created this, but hold on. No, okay, so now, normally you'd have to right-click SRC, New, Package, and you want to name it me dot your name. I'll put your name on things. So I'm going to name it Young the Coder dot YouTube. Okay, now once that's done, right-click, New, class. This is going to be your main class where you do most of your coding. So I'm going to do main dash u. Just for main dash YouTube. Or just main u. Main u. And then once you're in here, you're ready for the next step. Okay, once you have the main u.java set up or whatever you named it, go ahead and go back over to your web browser and click the third link in the description. That should bring you to this page. These are the recommended builds in which Eclipse actually references Minecraft so you don't have to code everything from scratch. You can actually run it on a server. So go ahead and either get the recommended build or the beta build. I'm going to go ahead and grab the recommended build. Okay, once that's done downloading, go ahead and navigate to the folder where it's at and remember where it is. Okay, now go back to Eclipse and then right click on your new project. Go ahead and click properties, Java build path, add external jars. Now remember where you saved it. Mine is right here. I have both the beta version and the recommended build. You guys can actually go ahead and do two or one. I'm just going to do the recommended building for this. Okay, once you guys have that done, you are ready to start coding. Okay guys, now once you get to this point, you guys are actually ready to start coding your own plugin. I will have future tutorials on actually how to go in depth so me and you can code it side by side. We can make your very first plugin. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Show you love these videos. And I'm just starting out doing tutorials and commentaries. Any advice you guys have for me is greatly appreciated. Go ahead and comment. 
and that would be amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Young Coder.